At the Centre for Human Brain Health, what we're trying to do is bring together all of the local expertise that we have, not only around the campus, but around the local hospitals and more broadly through the city. Get all those people who know about brains, who are interested in brains from different points of view, and find a place for them to come together, provide the facilities they need to study the human brain in whatever way they want to, in whatever way we can, because there's only certain methods we can use to study the human brain non-invasively. We have a new three Tesla Siemens Prisma MRI scanner and we have a number of different EEG systems that can be used to measure the electrical brain activity. We have a near-infrared spectroscopy system, which is one of only two in the world, I think. It's a lot more detailed than many other systems. And what we're trying to do with that system is to develop similar kinds of approaches that you can use with functional MRI, but without the need to put someone into the MRI scanner, which can sometimes be a bit daunting and a bit difficult, depending on your research question. So one of the big advantages of the Center for Human Brain Health is that we have different kind of tools under the same roof. That means that, for instance, the MEG that you see behind me, that technique we can integrate with other techniques, that being MRI and TMS and the other different kind of recording modalities. All these techniques have different advantages and disadvantages. So by using them together, we can get the optimal information from the working brain. Really what we want to be able to do is, is have as many people using those systems for as many different questions as possible. Mm -hmm.